the real auction clearance rates. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I thought we'd do something a little different tonight. I have my Stein of hot chocolate and I thought we would look at the auction clearance rates. Now here is just some of the data from Domain and let's have a bit of a play with this because, and I'll just jump over here, we'll do it a bit different today. I've got my Excel here. We're gonna have some Excel fun again, guys. And I've got the auction clearance rates data here you can see above. And this is just the auction results available from the Domain website. Now we hear about the auction clearance rate all the time in the news, in the media, nearly every article that we hear that you know the economy is going so well, oh, the housing sector's picked up. Look at this tiny increase in, in price based on one data source. And then the auction clearance rates are so much higher than they were previously. Now I had a anonymous viewer ring me up and you know explain an issue he had with regards to the auction clearance rates because of a lack of reporting from real estate agents. Now, like all good stories, he wanted, well, he was in a, let's say, discussion with his wife and he wanted to prove her wrong. And Rachel is quite disappointed that I can relate so well to, <laughs> to being in that situation. So he dove on the internet, had a look at some of these figures and was quite surprised by what he found. Now, I live in Brisbane. Auctions are not as big as they are in the other cities. So it's not really something I paid much attention to when I was looking around for somewhere to buy. I don't think I'd even think about going for an auction, not with the price range of houses that I was looking at. You don't really take a, you know, a crappy old house to an auction, do you? Well, well who am I kidding? People do all the time, but you get what I mean. It's not a big deal in Brisbane. You can just see that here in the total number of auctions. Yeah. And uh, what I was told was that in Sydney and Melbourne, these auction results are much bigger, where some people will even make financial decisions based on the auction rates, on the percentages, you know, the clearance rates. Like, okay, this clearance rate's pretty high, I've got an offer. I, I think I'll hold off a couple of months because the clearance, clearance rates are just showing how strong the economy is in housing. It's you know, obviously going to get better. But this is where we have some issues with this data. Well, we have some issues with this data. We'll have a look here. We'll look here at Sydney. The clearance rate is 77%. And they've got a few things they've got. And I'll copy that in here. We've got total auctions. Can you see that? Good, with total auctions. Confirmed results. Confirmed results. We've got what's sold. What am I doing there? Why isn't that copy the font? There we go. You know, we want to use the font. We've got what was withdrawn and what was passed in. Okay, and this is for Sydney. Now the total auctions are 695. Confirmed results are 484. Sold, 412. Withdrawn, 50. Passed in, was 71. And the clearance rate that they've developed, or they've derived, is 77%. And this is where it gets, where's my percent symbol down there? This is where it gets interesting. We'll click here on view details. And I know you can't see that, but this is, you, know, you can zoom in real close if you want to see. But we'll click on this one here. Help me understand these results. Notice here how it says clearance rate 77%, 44% this time last year. You may not see it clearly on your screen, but that's what it's saying right there. 44% this time last year. So it's nearly double. Must be good. We'll click on this one. Help me understand this data. Now, auction result terms. Here are some important words you'll come across. Auction clearance rate. The percent of property sold at auction on a particular week or month is calculated as below. So the sold at auction, that number, plus the sold prior to auction, and here in on the website, it's just listed as sold, divided by the total number of auctions plus the properties withdrawn equals the auction clearance rate. Okay, so, and here, total auctions is the total number of auctions scheduled for the day, including those that were withdrawn from the auction at the last minute. Confirmed results, the number of auctions, auction results collected by domain out of the total auctions. 
Okay, property sold under auction conditions or prior to auctions. Fantastic. Withdrawn properties not go that didn't go to auction. Passed in properties that did not sell at auction. So here's you know, the confirmed result is something interesting. So let's have a look. Let's look at this formula here. I'll just you know, copy this in. Oh, I'll leave that there. You can see it. So sold at auction. So we'll make this formula. We'll go you know, clearance rate, which is sold at auction, which is or is it sold? And that's including the sold prior to auction. Okay. So divided by divided by the total number of auctions, which is total auction six ninety five plus plus property withdrawn is equal to the auction clearance rate, which is 55%. But we didn't get 55%. And I'll, I'll zoom in here just so you can see I'm not making this up. Can you see that? Sold at auction plus sold prior to auction divided by the total number of auctions plus the properties withdrawn is equal to the auction clearance rate. 55%. Why are we getting 77%? Because they're not actually using this formula. They're not actually using this formula. They are using, they're using, so it is the property sold divided by the confirmed results. Okay, confirmed results plus the number withdrawn. Oops, hang on. That's giving us our 77%. It's not giving us the 55%. They're ignoring, they're ignoring, and we go no results, so no results given. They're ignoring this number, which is, I'll put that down here, which is the total number of auctions minus the confirmed results. Okay? Which is another 211 properties. So let's say of these confirmed results we have, confirmed results we have, and that is 412 sold. 50 were withdrawn and 72 were passed in. So if we, we add this up, that's 534. So what they're doing is they're counting the confirmed results is minus the withdrawal and they're adding it in there. That's where they're getting it. But the question is, what's happening to all these other numbers? So really, we've got What's that? What is the results for these 211 properties? Okay, are we sitting at a clearance rate of 77% or a clearance rate of 55%? Where I did using their formula. Okay, the total number of auctions, which is 695, which I did. So we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Okay, sold at auction plus sold prior to auction. And that's just listed as sold here on their website, which is 412 divided by the total number of auctions, which should be that number, plus the number of withdrawals. But it's not, it's actually this one here, the confirmed results. They're doing the confirmed results plus the withdrawals. So that's where they're getting the wrong numbers. They're ignoring all of these properties where they don't have no results. They're just not taken into account. So we could argue, what if none of those sold? What if none of those sold? So here's another one. Here is another one. I'm going to call this the brag factor or the brag percentage. We've got brag percentage. The brag percentage, which is, let's see, we'll just do confirm results divided by the total auctions, and we get 70%. 70% is the brag factor. 
because we've all met real estate agents and we know how shy and humble they are as people. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not. Not if they're good. They're gregarious, they're outgoing, they know how to network, they know how to work a room, they know how to make friends, they know how to make sales. They would not miss up an opportunity to get, you know, we successfully did this auction out there, get that data there. So this brag percentage, the amount, so we're having 30% that hasn't been reported. 30% that hasn't been reported, guys. What's that tell you? What do you think's happening to those 30%? Well, what you could do, and this is where, where the viewer, where he, he was thinking, oh, well, I'll, you know, he was telling his wife, well, they're not reporting it. They're just not reporting it. And she's going, no, nah, I don't believe you. That's rubbish. Of course, they're, they're just, you know, you know they're, they're obviously sold. They've obviously all sold. They just couldn't be bothered. They couldn't be bothered. Yeah, sure. Because apparently when times are good during the boom, the brag percentage, as I'd call it, was over 90%. And now he was trying to find, he went through all this data here, all these properties to find the ones where no result was given, but none of them exist. And he rang up Domain and asked them, well, why don't you publish that information? He goes, oh, we, we want to keep it private for her. But they're saying, you know, keeping it private is this, sold, price withheld, right here. I'll zoom in so you can see, that's giving them privacy. It's not hiding the data. So one should question, because you can't find them. He wanted to check up and go through and ring up a few of the agents or even just check on the listing and see if they were listing a bit later. Couldn't find it, it's not on this list. So you can't even get a real number. We're still dependent on what they've told us. Worst case, it could be down to 55%. How would you feel if the media were reporting Sydney clearance rates at 55%, just 10% above from a year ago. How would that make you feel from a psychological perspective? Now, I've got a solution to this. I've got a solution. What we need to do, what we need to do is to collect all the listings from all the suburbs in domain in Sydney, I'd say Sydney or maybe Melbourne, this next week, identify them all, put them into a, a nice little spreadsheet. And then after the auction, on Monday and when they release their clearance rates, check to see which what's happened to those 200 ones where we can't find on this list. Cross check it. So if any of the viewers have the, the skills to you know get that data, which is publicly available from this website for this coming weekend, please pop me an email or let me know. Uh, otherwise I will have to teach myself how to do it or do a lot of copying and pasting because I think it would be interesting to see because, you know, 55% is pretty bad. So guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I mean, if we look here, let's just, let's do another one. Let's do the percent sold just out of the total. Yeah, you're going to get 59%. If we ignore the withdrawn ones. I mean, so these numbers aren't good. And I think the system, the system has been designed in such a way, it has been designed in such a way that it's dependent on the reporting from the real estate agents to get the data in here to generate these numbers that they want. And since the people reporting the data are probably less inclined to do it when times have not been as successful or when they can't brag as much, there is an inbuilt, well, an inbuilt bias to reporting better results in this system, I would say. So I'd like to thank my anonymous viewer who brought this to my attention. And please pop me an email if you can help in any way to get this data so we can try and get a, a more realistic number or just at least cross check, even if we just do it for one week to see where it is. But let me know what you think, guys. What do you think is the correct clearance rate? Does 77 seem good? How would you feel if it's closer to 55? Anyway, guys, have a great evening. Like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this type of content, please, um, I have a Patreon and a subscribe style where you can support the channel with a small monthly donation. I also have PayPal and 
a affiliate link for Amazon. And thank you to all the new patrons, and new you know, donations, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, it really helps. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. And I am going to now relax tonight and not worry about all these things until I can find my outro. See you later.